Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's discuss on the photochemical smoke. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. So what is smoke? As we know that air pollution is basically a presence of foreign substance in air. And smoke is a combination of two words, that is smoke and fog. It is very harmful. It consists of a mixture of primary and secondary pollutants. Example like bun, nitrogen dioxide, formaldehyde, and hydrocarbon. Basically, smoke is divided into two major types. That is classical smoke and photochemical smoke. Number one is classical smoke, which is also called industrial smoke or London smoke. And photochemical smoke is also called Los Angeles smoke. This picture was taken out from the website, uh, this website. And uh, classical smoke, this is how the classical smoke has been reported in the papers. It was in London in 1952. Since in 1950s, Los Angeles smoke in the cities where motor vehicles are running. Okay, so classical smoke during December 1952. These are the peoples. They are trying to prevent the smoke burning of uh, uh, their light in the vehicles and full of smoke where the cities has been engulfed with the smoke. This is a photochemical smoke look like. So, see, the classical smoke is also called London smoke because it was first observed in London in 1952. Very simple. And this classical smoke is also called industrial smoke because this smoke was uh, mostly generated from the industry factories in the cities and mixed with the uh, household smoke. Yeah. This smoke was first observed in London in 1952 when thick fog engulfed London from 5 to 9 December 1952. It mixed with black smoke emitted from the homes and factories to create a deadly smoke. It has been reported that approximately 12,000 people and was died and soak the world into starting the environmental prevention movement. This London smoke or classical smoke is also called reducing in nature. It is reducing in nature. It occurs in cool, humid climate. As we know, December is very cool. Okay, So just like that, uh, it occurs mostly in humid climate. It can cause irritation, bronchitis, and lung problems. Whereas photochemical smoke, this type of smoke was observed in Los Angeles since in, in 1950s. Photochemical smoke is opaque gray or yellowish brown dark fog, contains vapor, smoke, dust, and gas like nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide. This is a very important point. Photochemical smoke is formed during the oxidation of hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide. Photochemical smoke is formed during the oxidation of hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide. It is reducing in nature. It has been reported approximately 3,900 people has been killed by this smoke. It occurs in the warm, dry and sunny climate. This photochemical smoke is occur mainly during daytime where the sunlight is present. It causes irritation to the eye. So this is the main difference between the photochemicals and classical smoke. If you know this point, no question will be above this if they ask for classical and photochemical smoke. This is very important. And photochemical smoke. Okay, let's discuss some points. Uh, photochemical smoke is restricted to highly motorized area in metropolitan cities like Los Angeles. Nowadays in India, Mumbai also have a photochemical smoke. 
it occurs under adverse metropolitan condition when air movement is restricted in the cities for the chemical smog is formed due to the oxidation of hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide very important for the chemical smog theory has been proposed by many scientists and researchers but the most accepted theory given by the professor aj hacken smith found was to be generally accepted as it is very comprehensive theories it has been found that at the time of photochemical smog formation there is a considerable increase in the amount of ozone and oxidant materials so when the photochemical smog is formed it has been reported that the ozone and oxygen material is also increased the ozone is not found in appreciable amount at night but only during the day okay as we know that ozone formations we need the oxygen and the sunlight so this ozone is not found appreciable amount at night but only during the day okay this fact clearly indicate that for the chemicals formation of ozone or oxygen from impurities take place during the action of sunlight so this is how the photochemical reaction takes place nitrogen oxide okay nitrogen dioxide no2 when undergo reaction with ultraviolet radiation we get the photo photolysis to give no plus o this o on undergo reaction with the oxygen to form ozone okay this ozone so form oxidized to no2 no2 plus o2 this nitrogen oxide when undergo reaction with the ozone you get the nitrogen dioxide and ozone is released so this ozone <coughs> is very important and further chemical reaction like oxygen undergo reaction with the hydrocarbon hc to form the rco and to give the rco3 this undergo further reaction with the hydrocarbon to give ch2o which is a uh, and with some a small amount of ketone is released and this rco3 plus o2 give rco2 radicals plus ozone and which further undergo reactions with the nitrogen dioxide to give the pan peroxy acetyl nitride the presence of excessive ozone along with the aldehyde ketone pan constitute photochemical smoke so this chemical reaction is very important you should practice it so effect of photochemical smoke eye irritation probably the compound responsible for eye irritation are formaldehyde acrolein pan and peroxyl benzoyl nitride so during the formation of photochemical smoke certain amount of pan formaldehyde is released okay so this may be due to the this chemicals present in the air the eye irritation is caused damage of vegetables and vegetation the vegetation damage the effect observed as silvery and bronze bronzing of undesirable of leaf followed by collapse of cell and necrosis and chlorosis yellowings of leaf and vegetation growth retardation due to the damage of the cell okay the three principal phytoxin phytoxicants are ozone nitrogen dioxide and bond this has resulted in economic loss number three effect visibility reduction this is a perhaps the most common observed effect, effect of photochemical smoke the aerosol particles causing the photochemical smoke contain compounds of carbon oxygen hydrogen nitrogen sulfur and halide cracking of rubbers this is a primarily due to the ozone constitution constituent of photochemical smoke an important economic effect of smoke is deterioration of the side walls of automobile tires to overcome this problem and and zoning is been used let's try for some molecule choice smoke is number a natural phenomena a combination of smoke and fog it is colorless all of the above 
smoke is a combination of smoke and fog the three the major photochemical oxygen is number a ozone hydrogen peroxide nitrogen oxide one see ozone is formed in the photochemical re reaction okay hydrogen peroxide we don't see pan is also released but nitrogen oxide is the major ox compound that undergo photochemical oxidant so this is the answer nitrogen oxide very important which of the following are likely to be present in the photochemical smoke it has been reported that photochemical smoke the a certain amount of chlorofluorocarbon was is present okay so this is answer smoke is not answer sulfur dioxide no photochemical oxidants no chlorofluorocarbon is the answer okay in this way you should practice so thank you for watching